Okay, so it's story time. Mm. True stories. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess this story should be, uh, I took my daughter out of school for a really good reason. Um, I told him I had to go pick up my paycheck. Anyway, so I was going through a really bad divorce, which I sued for divorce myself. I paid for my divorce um, and all the proceedings to get nothing but uh, immunity from the feds. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't all about fur coats and Cadillacs. It was stuff that my husband was doing that I found out and I decided I would divorce him, amongst a couple other things. But, um, so, anyway, money was really hard to come by, and, um, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, what a mess that was. So, um, he had, uh, stolen. He'd already one. taken it. Yeah, I guess I didn't have one. No, you didn't. I'm thinking I didn't. Uh-uh. Well, no, I might, have, I might have had my Lincoln at that time. I just didn't have gas to go get it, I think. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we picked up Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I had, like, very little gas in my car. I had, like, nothing for money. Uh, and it was really bad. And, um, so, but I could work any time. It's just, you know, gas was hard to come by. Sometimes my nephew would come by and put gas on the car or my brother-in-law. Um, so I could go to work because I made really good money. In one quarter mile, there, turn left, then turn which right. Which was like 45 minutes away. But anyway, so, uh, I had gone down to the corner market to get a soda pop or something. Or turn a left, soup then or turn something. right. A little bit of money I had. And I had um, $5 left. And I was looking at these lottery cards. And the bad thing is, I'm one of the luckiest people you'll ever know in your lifetime. I mean, I've taken people to casinos with me, and they want to leave. Because I'm endlessly lucky. <laughs> the original lady luck. Yes. Um, but, uh, I don't play on scared money normally as a rule. That's just not the right thing to do. You don't want to play on scared money. But, um, I mean, I got through most of my engineering college on the craps tables. It was amazing. And this guy behind me has got the brights on like I went to the library. Turn to left, the then turn right. To see and read. Man. So anyway, um I uh Turn left, then turn right. This guy gotta run all his lights and his bottom lights. You can kill those bottom lights, man. Even the tractor trailer gotta be rude. I know he's going to Tyson. So anyway. Uh, it's about eight thirty or nine in the morning. I had taken my daughter to school, and uh, I guess that morning did I take you to school that morning? Mm -hmm. Continue on route. And uh, it was uh, I took the bus. You took the bus. Mm -hmm. That or your dad came over and got you. No. Um, took you. But anyway, so... That's another story. Yeah. So anyway, um... I was just looking at the rack, and uh, this card was just... One of the guys down there that worked there, and she used to say, was it sticking its tongue out at you? And, and it's like, uh... And so anyway... I thought, well... If I buy this one card, the last five dollars I have, maybe I'll be really lucky and it'll hit. And I knew I shouldn't have spent that five dollars. I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew. Because I didn't know what tomorrow would bring. 
you know, if I'll be able to get to go to work that night. Sometimes people come down and pick me up so I go to work. You know, I put the gas in my car. And so, uh, I, I, I went ahead and I buy that ticket. And I'm sitting at that little table there. It was at the Mexican market down there in Florida, so I, and I, I was sitting there scratching it off, and I scratch off, and the first thing comes out, and it's a thousand dollars. And I still got like 23 more things to scratch off, right? And I scratch off another one, and it's like 50, and I scratch off another one, and it's like 150. Captain, I'm going to looking at this card, and the owner comes by, and he's laughing, and he goes, wow, you do pretty good, I said, maybe, I don't know, and so I'm patiently scratching this thing on, and I'm sitting there looking at it, looking at it, was that just a snake in pieces in the road? Mm-hmm. Holy Christ, <laughs> that was a big one. Mm-hmm. Ugh, it's about the size of my arm. <laughs> no longer. Well, I know it was longer, but it's the <laughs> diameter about my arm. Holy Christ. Um, Charming. Uh, that's another story. Yeah, that's yeah, another story. We should tell the snake story about Johnny Maples and the snake and the dogs in Arkansas. Yeah. That would be a good story. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. Because when you cut them apart, they're still moving. Yeah, um, that's fun. So, anyway, uh, uh, I'm sitting there looking at this card and I'm like looking at it and looking at it and I'm like, surely not. And I, I keep looking at it and it was a gold rush card. No, listen, it was a $5 card. Mm-hmm. A $5 card and I can't think of what it was. And um, it was just one that I always wanted to hit on but never could. I played a few cards of it before and I thought, sure as hell there's going to be a winner because there were so many hits on that style of card. Which I normally wouldn't play a five dollar card because it's bull crap. The ones you win on are twenty dollar cards. Out of all cards, the ones you will win on are the twenty dollar cards. So, um, although I know one guy that had a dollar card for like three grand or something, but that's so rare. But anyway, so I'm sitting there looking at this, looking at this, and it's still morning. My daughter's in school. I have no gas in my car. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this money worst thing you ever could think of, and that money would do me right, you know, um, as a matter of fact, uh, I ended up moving back to Dothan, <laughs> to the big city, uh, for a while, because it was so cool, the whole outcome, but anyway, so I'm looking at this car, looking at this car, and I cannot believe it's looking like, you know, way over a thousand. I'm sitting there just stoked, trying to add it up, just like, no, I don't even believe it, okay, plus five dollars I had, you know, didn't know where the next penny comes from, right, unless I get to work that night, so, I called my adopted brother, Hawk, I said, Hawk, I need you to come down and get me, he says, well, I don't have much gas, I said, well, do me a favor, bring me a gallon or two of gas, and we'll put it in my Lincoln, because you and I need to take a ride. I said, I'll pay you $100 if you will, you know, uh, come with me. And he goes, what? I said, I'll tell you when you get here. And he's like, well, what is it? I said, you'll never believe it. I said, over $5, you'll just never believe it. So, he comes down, and uh, he brings me a little thing of gas, and he's like total gentleman. He's like, here, I'll put it in the car, and I'm like, okay. So, we're standing out there talking. He said, so, what did you call me about? That's so important. And I said, well, I got to be somewhere. I said, but I got to figure out how I'm going to do it, because my kid is in school. And I'm trying to figure out a way that I can pull her out of school. She hasn't missed any days yet or anything, and she's not been late. Because they're real strict in the South, you know. After they're, like, absent twice, they send you a court order to show up to court. Um, yeah. It's really bad. Whether you have doctor's excuse or not, they're really, really 
really strict. So anyway, um, I said I could I could afford to get her out because it would be like half day. It wouldn't be like a whole day, so that's better. It doesn't mean she didn't no show to school. So I I called the school and I said hi. Um, I have to go pick up my payroll check out of town. And, um, I'm going to have to bring my daughter with me because I don't know if I'll be back in time. And they said, oh, well, okay. So they get her out of class. And, and of course, you know, I'm dressed real nice and everything. So, uh, they get her out of class and taking her corner. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong, mommy? And I'm like, oh, nothing's wrong. I just had to come pick you up. She's like, why? I said, you'll find out why. And so, uh, we get in the car, and I said, look, I said, uh, um, I had to take you out of school because I had to pick up, uh, no, you told you didn't tell me that. You said and then because I we have to go, card. we have to go uh, get our picture on the Rolling Stones. Oh yeah, I was like we have to go get our picture to tell on me. the cover of the Rolling Stone. And so, uh, anyway, Hawk's in the car and he's laughing. And so, um, let's look at this guy driving with his brights on and slow. Come God, are you stupid? It's probably the stupid cop. And here's a guy parked in the middle of the intersection. That's even more stupid. So, that's what they call it. Slow come. Guess how much the gas was at the truck stop? 244 out there. Mm. And in time it was 222. So, anyway, grabbed her up. Which was a good thing because I, I had never made it back in time because I needed to drive to Tallahassee. And so, um, because I was out by Panama side anyway. So, um, what does I see people driving these rides? It must be all night wide. So, we took and, uh, we hightailed it to go into Tallahassee. I don't think I had GPS then. Mm -mm. So, Hawk knew his way pretty good, so we're driving down there, and so I hand a card. Did I hand it to you first, or to Hawk? You handed it to me, I think. Yeah. I hand the card over to her, telling her that I had to go pick up my paycheck, my payroll check, and she just starts looking at it going, whoa, whoa, what is that? And so, uh... I hand it to Hawk, and we're about halfway there, okay? And so I handed it to Hawk, and he's looking, and he says, holy hell, you weren't kidding. I said, I told you I'd pay you $100 if you would bring me some gas or come get me, because I had to go. And he goes, wow. He said, that's a blessing. I said, boy, you aren't lying. And, and I said, you know what's really bad? It was the last $5 I had to my name. He goes, no, it wasn't. So, yes, it was. I said, I just had that feeling. And, you know, I don't play any any gambling or any of that unless I've got that feeling. Because um, I, I won't win. If I don't feel like it's going to win, I just don't play it. And, um, uh, you know, I'm not an everyday gambler, and I'd rather play in a casino than I would ever on lottery. Um. But anyway, so, it was just hilarious to hit on a $5 card like that. It was a huge amount of money. So, here's another one. Thanks, I went to the library and got books to read in the car while driving. Um, turn your candle power down. So, anyway, um, we're driving down there. Beautiful day. Laughing our heads off. And I'm like, God, I hope they'll give it to me. <laughs> so... Uh, especially when I have like some school loans left but uh, because I was out of state at that time um, Florida didn't take anything out of my stuff but if you're a Florida resident and you 
have debts, they will take it out when you beat that lottery office, trust me. Um, so anyway, uh, we go down there, and we're trying to find the place, and In we're three calling quarters them, of a mile, trying to figure left. out which way we're at that, in Tallahassee, because we can't find it, and it's getting late. And the lady on the phone says, we're getting ready to close. And it's like, no way. Because we called to see what time they would close. Right? And they're like, they were like, no, we're getting ready to close in a few minutes. I'm like, oh, no, you're not. You know? <laughs> and so she's like, yeah. And it's like, we figured out that, you know, the time is a time change from uh, the Bama side to uh, Tallahassee. It's an hour ahead. So it was like an hour ahead or something. And so they were going to close. Turn left. Like, oh, hell no. Because then I would have to get a hotel. An old apartment would have to pay for that. And I don't think he was in for staying the night. He always had stuff to do. So, um, and I, I needed to get uh, my daughter back for the next day for school, probably. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, she said, oh, God. You almost hit it too. Crossing the road. It was a possum. <laughs> <laughs> you almost hit it. So <laughs> um, that would have been great on your tires. Rats. You would have been great on your tires. Oh yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, but I got big old monstrous tires in this thing. And it would probably kicked up under the car. Yeah. In three quarters of a mile. Well, the car still high off the ground, so it helps. <laughs> um, you would have gone. Not like look. a Lincoln when we drove over a deer for no choice. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, so uh, we're like, no, no, don't close. Uh, she's like, okay, I'll wait. She's like, please don't close. We drove all the way down from Bama. You know, and I'm the one that's been calling like three times and we're trying to find the office. So the lady was really nice and she was trying to lead us in. And, uh, and so up for a minute. I thought it was cut. So anyway, because they're tricky over here. So anyway, um, lower Alabama bites. So anyway, uh, uh, we finally find this big building and it's like this big giant like brick looking building and a big giant parking lot. It looks like something really spectacular, but it's really just the lottery place. Um, big difference from the one in Picola. That's a real joke. Uh, it takes forever to be waiting on a Picola. And so we like get up there and it's looking closed because there's like two cars in a whole parking lot. And so I got a big parking lot, big building. And so we're like, busted, in three but, quarters of a of mile, car, turn left. Um, run into the door, hoping to God that they didn't lock us out, you know, and close. Because I got this ticket, you know. And so, um, uh, get to the door, door's open, there's nobody at the desk. There's one desk there, and then there's like lottery machines where you can buy tickets out of machines, and tickets in the counter, and pictures of people that have won, and, and posters and stuff, and, and we're like, oh, and here come this girl, and she was probably about 40 years old, real sweet, said, hi, I'm the one that couldn't find your office. Turn left. And she says, uh, do we want you to the left here? Yeah, a bit shorter. It is? Mm -hmm. This isn't the bad road, is it? It is. It's bumpy, but it's not bad, bad. <laughs> I just don't like taking this back of the crap. God, look at this. <laughs> really? Man, this is no Lincoln. <laughs> it's a truck. Yeah. Uh, I noticed. <laughs> I had to get a step ladder to get up in this devil. <laughs> Look at this street. Why did you take me down the street, you banana head? <laughs> so. Uh, Look at this. <laughs> Yucky poo poo. <laughs> so, anyway, so the girl was real sweet. And, and I'm, I'm like, uh, she's like, hey, do you have your ticket? Yes. I hand it to her all proud, you know, big smile on my face. And she's like the only one there that I saw. I think there was one, on a guy out. there in the back that came out eventually. And a big place, I mean, a big office. 
and right, of course, you know, they were staying after for me, so probably everybody else left. And so, anyway, um, she was real sweet. And she said, okay, now I need you to fill out this paper. And you fill out this little paper and you put your info on it. And then you gotta give them your driver's license and all that good stuff. I can't remember if I had to give them a social security card or what. So you did. I should go there. No. Four miles. Should have turned over there. So, anyway, um, I hate driving in the back of it. <sighs> so, anyway, um, with the creatures. <laughs> that makes there's probably less deer right here. Yeah. Because there's more civilization unless you see a big, empty thing well, like I'm over there to the right. <laughs> where they come running through the fields and jumping fences. <laughs> like blind, man. Um, so, anyway. Um, I've got all my little stuff and I'm all excited and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then she comes and she says, okay, now, uh, uh, do you want to get your picture? And I said, well, do you have to? And she says, well, kind of, yeah. And I said, well, you know, uh, can I have everybody else in the picture too? Because we want to make the cover of the rolling stuff. She's like, okay. So, me, Hawk, and Boo. Uh, I think I had to stand on a chair. Lord, to be as tall as you guys. We uh, uh, got to take this picture. It was so cool. And Hawk's got his finger up for, you know, uh, one way up, religious sign. And then uh, my daughter's like making a wild face with her hands up or something. I don't know. And, uh, uh, and, and I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah, the rolling stone. And, uh, it was a really cute picture. And they had me holding like this big paper check thing or whatever. And, um, uh, it was really cool. And, uh, uh, she said, God, that's about the cutest pictures we've ever taken. And I was like, oh, thanks. So, anyway, um, uh, she gave us a copy of it, which was really cute. We all got a copy. And, um, so then she finishes the paperwork up. We just keep going straight here. Straight. And, uh, uh, she hands me a check. I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, a check? What do I do with this? You want me to just sign it? You're going to cash it? She's like, oh, no, we can't cash it. I'm like, oh, no. And so now I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and she says, but there's a bank in town that cashes all of our checks. And I think it was like a Wells Fargo or something. There's Wells Fargo. We got a pony from there. And, oh, my gosh. So, um, she, she, uh, she tells me where it is and Hawk kind of knew the area, and so we only had like you know 14 minutes to like get to that bank before it closed. So I could pick up my 5k. And I was like, Do you think they'll cash it so that I can like take my money with me, or do I have to open an account or wait to have it cash or something? She said, No, they should be they should cash it because we send people there all the time. I said, Okay. I'm like, do I have to pay a big fee or everything? She's like, no. Nah. They always honor our checks. I'm like, okay. So, um, because I didn't have a bank account with Wells Fargo at that time. I used to work for Wells Fargo and I had lots of bank accounts for Wells Fargo in the past, but I didn't have one then. And so, anyway, we, we got over there and, um, had to keep driving around the block, couldn't find a place to park. And I said, oh, hell no. I said, Hawk, look, just drop me off. You take the baby, you take the car. Drop me off right at the front door, and I'll just go in there. Because I'm going to miss him. Because we've got, like, you know, a total of six minutes left or something like that. So he says, okay. So we blaze around the corner and come back around. And he drops me off at the front door at the corner there. And I jump out of the car. Uh, matter of fact, I jump out of the car and we do the... the uh, what switcheroo. You, what do you call that? The Chinese fire drill. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so he jumps out of the passenger seat to get in the driver's seat and take the car. So anyway, um, uh, so 
I'm in the bank and me and my daughter are driving around the corner. Keep driving around the corner, driving around the corner to see if I come out with this money. Because I'm like, don't leave me here because I will have a lot of money if they can't really cash this check. So, five grand. Five K. So, anyway, I go in this bank and I'm like peeing my pants. There's like three people ahead of me. It's any second, the doors are going to lock up on this bank. They may throw me out. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and finally, they get to me. And it's only a few minutes after. And they were kind enough to go ahead and take what, was, what people were in the bank. And I come plopping this big 5K check on the counter. And it's closing. And uh, from the, you know, Florida lottery. <laughs> And they, uh, they look at it and went, okay. And it was like nothing to them. I guess they cashed so many of those checks. And so um, they were very nice and gave them my ID, everything, did a thumb turn deal. And they didn't even call to verify or anything like that. They just, they were used to taking those checks. And so um, I signed it and they came out and said, how do you like it? I said, I don't want any hundreds. So they gave it to me mostly in 50s and 20s. And double check counted it and then I asked him for something to put it in because it was a lot of money wouldn't fit and so got it all and then stuffed it in my bra or something and went out the door told them thank you so much I wish I could tip you but I don't think the bank would let me tip you guys they were like nope I said, thank you so much you are a blessing so split out the door come right out the door on the corner and by god here comes my car right across the corner as I'd stepped out. i jump in the passenger seat and it's like, yeah. And the hawk says, did you get a cash? I said, sure as hell. So the first thing I did was hand him $100. And he goes, you don't have to do that. I said, yeah, I do. You brought me some gas. In one half Wouldn't mile, turn right, then arrive at destination. Next thing we did was go to a pawn shop and see if they had any good deals. We didn't say much of crap. It was just a bunch of junk in Tallahassee. So then we went to Walmart, and uh, I bought a ring, which I ended up taking back later because I didn't like it. And um, uh, and then I went, and, and Hawk was supposed to go to the market that day. So I took his time up so that he didn't get to go to the market. And so he wanted to pick up all the stuff. So when he went to go out the, um, to get his stuff and went to go out and check out, I went ahead and paid for his groceries, which was a little over a hundred. I said, I'll take care of that. And he goes, why? I said, because, because, you know, I took up your day. And so, uh, then we went by to a Mexican restaurant, had some Mexican food, and then we got back, and then, uh, like, I, I got, uh, a lot of good things out of that money. A lot of good things out of that money. So, that was really fun. But anyway, when you least expect it, you never know. Arriving at destination on When you get that lottery left. when you really need it. Talk to you later.